My name is Stacy Rodriguez. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm at right now. Right now I'm 22 years old. I am an assistant manager at my warehouse job and um, I'm loving life right now. Uh, where I was at before was not in a good spot. I was, probably when I first got out of high school, I was, you know, doing drugs. I was, you know, smoking a lot. I was doing acid. I was like doing all these crazy stuff. And I was drinking, 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 drinking. It was bad. And then once I got out to college, I wasn't really a partier, but I was really into all that crazy, trying out this and trying out that. And, it was just not there. So like at that time I was like cut off from the world. Like nobody knew anything about me. Um, I had gained a lot, a lot of weight from being out at college and just being the stress level. Um, I came back from college, didn't even get, get a chance to graduate. And I was in a lot of trouble with the law. They came and arrested me and my mother was crying, you know, yada, yada, yada. Thank God I got out that same night. I wasn't in there for like two days or anything like that. So I got out and from there on out, I did everything right and I got myself back on the path of the Lord. So with doing that, I got away from being a Jehovah's Witness and now I know the real truth. There is so much love and so much that you know, the Father gives us that yeah. I, I never had gotten from learning the other you know, religion, I should say, because Christianity is not a religion. This is something that it's a relationship, you know, this is something that you build. It, it, it's it, it's a it's a bond that you create, you know what I mean? Like it's true passion, like genuine love that, yeah, and yeah. I love it. And I love it so much. And I know I'm not baptized yet, but I'm glad I haven't baptized in any other religion because once I baptized being uh, a Christian, I, you know, I know I'm not gonna get baptized in nothing else because this is what I want because I've learned from different religions that it's not what it is, you know what I mean? I love God and you know, from here on out, I just wanna follow his will and his will is just all I wanna do. And you know, with him having his strength, I can get the running thing, no matter how tough. Amen. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Um, Daniel. Um, uh, my my real name is Devin. Devin. Like, yeah, legally, but um, you know, <laughs> God, you know, God's been my mom since I was young. Like, I was like six five. She uh -huh. was like, God's somebody to call you Daniel. Obviously, some hey, stuff hey. <laughs> some obviously some stuff with my biological father, but <laughs> just recently since being born again, like God's revealing all these things to me. You know, He called me by a different name. But, you know, that will come later, obviously, that testimony. But, um, all right, where to start? Um, so I, I would say this this all occurred, like, last year, September. Um, I think my born-again birthday is September 14th or 16th. Okay. But, um, so I grew up a Christian, um, Christian foundation, um, biblical foundation, uh, family, and all that. But um, going into middle school and, like, high school, you know, seeing all my peers and stuff like that. And um, just those around me, society, um, culture, you know, should begin to shape me and I began to rebel from, um, you know, my foundation. Um, I never turned away from knowing that God is God and that he's real and Jesus is real. But I, I was living one way in my household, in the church, and then outside that, outside of that, I was living totally against it and I would sin. And the more I sinned, it was like being, it was okay to me. Like, um, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't feel guilty for doing any of it. So I just began to live that lifestyle. And then, um, so that that was drugs, that was sex, you know, that was, you know, um, foul language, that was, um, I, I, dollars, how do I say, um, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't, idolatry, but I'm trying to say, like, I, adultery, I, idolizing, idolizing, oh, oh, idolizing, okay, okay. Idolizing, <laughs> like, like different things, like money and, um, mm. you know, fame and all these different things. Yeah. So, um, um, I began to get into, like, when I got to college. Um, I felt like more freedom, and so I just began to like go into all these different things. Like, like okay, this is what I feel like satisfies me. So I began to just go full force into like all these different areas that I was, you know, you know, just falling away from God, and that was a part that was not of God. And so um, I just began to fall into deep, 
state of depression and like I had suicidal thoughts and um I just didn't know you know um, I left high school with 3.0 and then in my college classes I was failing them um, you know most of them uh, I wouldn't say most maybe like two or three but like that's more than enough for me like that's not like me and so um I just I just wasn't myself and then so many different things began to happen and so I just get a clock and God like that's the only thing I need to do and um that was actually when I actually called out to God like before it was like because the pastor told me to work because my mom said it you know what I'm saying that was actually the time like I actually myself made the decision to like yeah God I need your help um but um when I got to that that that, I, that was my that was a comment that I made to God but this is when it like when I actually felt his love it was when um uh, like not knowing a family was like trying to like a mom and her son was i guess it was, i think it was her mom was in the witchcraft and so mm. um she, her mom was in the witchcraft too but my homeboy's name like the, the dude that i was cool with and was very close with that i got to in college um he kind of came off strong to me and we became we got a bond um and um he came up to me as christian but um it was so many different things in our walk like in our relationship that it was like if you're christian i I'm I'm not even walking how a Christian Christian is supposed to walk and that's kinda off to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so like I just I just let it slide because I was blinded to like the enemy, I was blinded to all these certain things and so mm -hmm. I just continued to build that relationship and his mom in the in the, in the background, this is me knowing after everything being revealed to me, was 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 dip, was in witchcraft trying to put a stronghold on me and, and so many different things. Now that testimony alone is so long and just the, mm -hmm. the, the witch row itself that went down that God revealed me afterwards through my praying grandmother. His prayer is so powerful and God speaks to his Holy Spirit that he gets to us. Mm -hmm. She was in a different city. I was in Tallahassee, she was in Lakeland. Wow. And she was, God was touching, like telling her all these things that I was in danger through the spirit and the prayer. <laughs> and on, on the day of the ritual, on the day of the ritual, like she called me and it, it just sounded so awesome. I was like, like I'm, I'm literally talking to the mom about in the board of God, cause that's what I was doing. But um. She was like, I'm just gonna pray for you. So my grandmother prayed for me. I was on the phone. She prayed, and that was that. So I'm not gonna get into that, you know, the ritual, or whatever. I'm not gonna be for another call. But anyways, um, she prayed or whatever. And afterwards, my sister was in like when I got home or whatever. Um, my sister had, was in Lakeland with my grandmother. She lived with me in Tallahassee. She came back from the trip that weekend trip. It was a Sunday night. She came and she told me everything. Daniel, Nana said this. Nana said that. Blah blah blah. And in scene, like everything just like it was just revealed to me like i've i seen the, the danger i was in because in the house i was reading to her about the bible she was talking whatever whatever but i stood up and said something that i don't remember what i said like i don't remember at all what i said but i said something i think it was a guy just speaking through me to her um and so the cross she had a cross in her home and the cross fell from up top like the thing and just hit the floor face down and she didn't move she was just frozen and so that was just one of the things that that was just strong to me like that when she revealed, like, when she revealed when, when my sister told me all these things, everything just revealed to me. And the, the family actually gave me a TV, and the TV was in my room. And Rochelle looked left, she was like, and Nana said, destroy the TV. I was like, how did Nana even know I had a TV in my room? And she said, Nana destroy the TV because they're, they put, they're putting a stronghold of spirit to the TV to like, oh, at you. Right, right. So it, was, it was really deep, like it was really deep. Like, I'm telling you, like, you know, to, to understand like that is just, for you guys to understand it on the level that I do, it's kind of like, I don't think you guys would ever get there, but it's like, just the testimony alone is like very strong, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. this is just, I'm just saying that because that's how powerful I felt God's love and his presence. And so instantly, you know, somebody, some some people's lives changed, God worked with them over time, weeks, maybe months. But this was like instant, like this was like overnight, like 180, right? You know, and so um, it took me like a, two days to stop, to stop smoking because it was like, as the days went on, I thought weed was like given, like marijuana was given to us by God. But then as I began, like, it wasn't even something that I seen. It just didn't feel, feel right for me at all. So like, like it was like a day later and two days, I'm like, nah, this can't be God. So I began to research it and then, and then the Bible talks about don't also the mind. Because with all the certain things that our, our lungs aren't chimneys and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, God, you know, it's a real thing that you're living within me. So now it's like, my life has changed for you. And so ever since then, it's been, you know, for him and for his glory, you know what I'm saying? Like everything that I do. And, um, you know, obviously it's a walk, you know, it's it's progression, it's not perfection, but at the end of the day, I'm striving every day to like, just focus on, fix my eyes on him because there's there's a lot of distractions that will, you know, try to knock me off. That's, that's, that's how God changed me, all glory to him. And it's just like, yeah. yeah. Growing up, we was, I feel like we were always, we were always, um, we, I drew, we drew a lot of crosses and stuff, like we were just like somewhat spiritual. 
and whatnot. We told ourselves we were going to drink and uh, when we were in high school, going into college and stuff. Um, and then as soon as that, as soon as that freshman year of, of college hit, like everything changed. Like when me and him went and, and our mom dropped us off, I remember like, we got this feeling like, yo, it's time to party. Like it's time to get lit and stuff. Like I was just that atmosphere. And just basically like, and then we, we, um, we came across a guy that introduced us to a frat to join a frat and like just everything seemed seemed right with the opportunity like the woman and all that you already know how that goes but <laughs> and then so we joined the frat and then freshman and sophomore year leading to our junior year it was just totally like wild living um every weekend sleeping with girls getting drunk um and then leading into our junior or was it, what was it Sean, or junior uh going into our junior year yeah, going into our junior year, it was like a whole 180 change. Like, and it was crazy because like the same like the same day we both got saved, like radically saved. Uh, we came across a video. It was Clayton Jennings. Um, he's a evangelist speaker, and like the video just touched us. And he was basically saying how like all the things that we were doing and like the route we were going, we were on the we were basically on the on the road to hell and stuff. And like that just like opened our eyes. We're like, yo, like just the Holy Spirit just opened our eyes. Like from that then there and. We got, we both got on our knees and we started crying and like, it was just crazy. Like, it was just the power of God. And like, you can't deny that. Like, yeah. from, from going from living that lifestyle to a complete 180 change, like, come on. The comment on what Rashawn said at first, um, when he was talking about where do you find that at? Like, literally, like my homeboys, like, you know, you guys said frat, but mine was like, you know, the atmosphere, the environment that I was in before was like my homeboys and you guys like probably frats or whatever. Well, my homeboys like we did all the same thing and so um me trying to explain you know to them the only thing i could really say is like yo it's it's not of me like it, you know god has a personal miracle the same way he you know spoke in the bible about healing the blind you know causing the deaf to hear um you know and, and the lame to walk all these things it's like those miracles of today it can still happen but another the way that miracles work through me was like through changing my life like 180 like you know I told him, I said, when do you think, like, if, when do you think before, me before, when do you think I was gonna smoke? And they were like, I shoot, I don't know, we would smoke all day, whatever. I was like, okay, when do you think I would ever want to not have sex, whatever? So they were like, nah, I don't think you would ever. I was like, exactly. So there's nothing that, that, that I'm living now is because of my, you know, like my, my decision. Like, I literally cut it off. Like, there was no way I would have the strength to do that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like, I was just, you know, that was that's something that I say because it's it's like it's literally a miracle, like, and I yeah, just think, it is, bro, that's yeah. crazy that you say that. Yeah. Absolutely, yo, I'll be thinking of the same thing. How, how can someone go to just like we love that lifestyle to this? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you know, like that's that's just a miracle in, in and of itself. So.